How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we are going to be rebuilding the Detroit Tigers. So if you guys are looking forward to more rebuilds, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And as always, in the comment section, let me know which team you guys would like to see rebuild next. Also, down in the description are all my social media links, Twitter, um, stuff like that. Twitch, we've been streaming quite a bit, uh, kind of late at night, playing some Diamond Dynasty. We've been doing uh, some other franchise stuff there. So if you guys want to see what's going on outside of the YouTube channel, you guys want to interact with me live, um, that's the best way. Go and follow the Twitch channel and get notified whenever we do go live. So let's get into this. We're using the same rosters that I've been talking about for quite some time. The uh, riding rosters, they're they're just too good. You can't you can't beat them. So, like I said, we're getting, you know, we're using the Detroit the Detroit Tigers. Um, I wanted to do this a few days ago, and I just I just kind of let my sleep schedule get out of hand, and it kind of ruined everything. So that's why I've been a little unproductive lately. But let's get into this. Let's talk about this team. So. Starting pitching wise, we have a lot of good prospects. Um, the one I'm looking forward to the most is Casey Mize. Franklin Perez might be someone who features as well, but there are a couple players like Michael Former looks good. But outside of that, you know, Boyd, Zimmerman, Ross, Moore, not really players I want to keep. Um, Zimmerman is someone I'm looking to trade as well with that big contract. Um, but Fulmer um, and then some of these prospects that we have are definitely players that I want to get featured in this rebuild. Relief pitching. Again, we do have a couple players, Jimenez and Norris, but outside of that, there aren't really too many players I'm like too comfortable with right now. So, you know, it's looking like pitching for the right now is is in need. We need some pitching right now. Grayson Grayer um, looks like a decent catcher. The hitting stats aren't there, but decent fielding overall. So he might be our catcher for the time being. First baseman, Miguel Cabrera, like he's a he's an amazing hitter. He's won a triple crown. Like he's he's a, he's a great hitter the issue is the contract and he's 35 and if you watch the Mets rebuild you see that players at this age decrease so quickly so it's looking like we're going to need a new first baseman Josh Harrison for a season looks decent you know he should be fine um, we have Dewall Lugo and Harold Castro as well so we have two decent you know second baseman for the future depending on if they increase in rating um Heimer Candelario Jamer Candelario whatever you want to say um, is going to be our third baseman. You know, maybe maybe move him to first base, get a new third baseman. We also do have Nico Goodrum and Gordon Beckham, but um, Goodrum is probably like that platoon player for us, and we'll just have uh, Candelario starting either first or third. Jordy Mercer for a season isn't bad, but I would like to find a better shortstop for the future. Kind of the same with the outfield positions. I'm not really stuck on anybody. Left field, we got Mikey Maduk and Christian Stewart as well as Jacoby Jones, Victor Reyes. But like, again, I'm not really sold on the center left field positions. Right field with Castellanos, we're good. But um, outside of that, most of these players, I'm pretty okay with letting go. So that's the team. I'm gonna start making some moves. This team's gonna require a lot of moves to make them good. So let's get into it. And uh, yeah, let's, let's do this. First trade we're making is Miguel Cabrera, Isaac Paredes. And then um, Jose Azucar, which, I mean, this trade is not realistic at all for Odubel Herrera, Gene Segura, and Vince Velasquez. We're getting all players with B potential, good rating. Um, it's, it's not a realistic trade at all, but for us, it's going to make our team a lot better. Next trade we're doing is Jordan Zimmerman. Like I said, I wanted to get rid of his contract. Um, Brandon Dixon as well as Ronnie Rodriguez for Matt Shoemaker and Justin Smoke. You're probably thinking, why would I get rid of these B potential players for two kind of aging players? It's really just to get rid of that Zimmerman contract. Um, Justin Smoke has one year left on his deal, and so does Shoemaker. Shoemaker is basically the same as Zimmerman, same rating, um, kind of same age group, same age range. Um, and Smoke, you know, I'm looking at just a one-year player um and just he can be our dh he can be our first baseman and for now it's not too bad Alrighty, so we don't really have an out like an all-out closer um so i'm thinking we go to the rangers we get jose leclerc for jacoby jones now that we have Oduble herrera we don't really need jacoby jones and then also one of our pitching prospects in um alex fado so i didn't really want to trade him 
but we were really in need of a closer so i think that might be it for season one there was only those three trades but i kind of want to see how some of these youngsters progress and then i want to like i'm kind of thinking this season unless we just really don't have that many players that we can trade to get good like to get better players um without trading some of our prospects so i want to see how some of these prospects progress and kind of see where we need to build come season two so let me get the lot the roster and line up in order and then we'll see how season one goes Alrighty, for season one this is how we're gonna look um segura herrera smoke castellanos um nico goodrum's gonna play third we're gonna have christian stewart and left um uh, chris Kristen, Kristen, it's gotta be christian it's chris it's gotta be right um heimer candelario at uh, first Grayson Grainer and then Josh Harrison um and then lefty it's the same thing basically and then yeah that's that's just how we're gonna look we're gonna see how it goes um and then when you see the pitching obviously there are some you know some weaknesses bullpen is kind of like my my area of question but you know we have Fulmer Shoemaker for a season not too bad Vince Velasquez is hope will hopefully develop um, and then looking at the bullpen, I'm kind of thinking Daniel Norris should go up. Um, I know he's been kind of like a, a flex between a starter and a bullpen arm. Um, I'm hoping Joe Jimenez is a good setup man for the new uh, newly acquired Jose Leclerc. So I'm really hoping these prospects, especially the pitching, develops quickly. Um, and then we'll see how the team goes from here. So season one's kind of like a, a feel out season. So let's get into it. I'll see you guys at draft day. Alrighty, so there's three players I've narrowed it down to. Um, one of them was a first baseman, Nick. Oh, no, no, that wasn't him. It was Chris Jimenez. Um, his contact stats already looked really good. And then all across the rest of his stats, besides his power, looked quite nice. Um, I, I did say three. I know there was another one as well. Um, he's up towards the top. Um, Was it him? It might have been... It was this guy based on his like fielding and speed his hitting stats aren't that great but he's kind of at the bottom of the picks um it's really chris jimenez and then i do have two pitchers i know we do have a heavy pitching like like start like a star-studded farm system for pitching um craig chavez out of louisiana looks just his stats look really good already um and then we, we do kind of need bullpen arms another one is brett reyna the thing that worries me is his per nines are quite low so even though he is 22 years old, I don't know if he'd ever make it to the bigs in this rebuild. And that's why I'm kind of leaning away from picking a pitcher. That first baseman does look really nice. We we do kind of need a first baseman. 22 years old. He could be decent within a season or two. Um, So I don't know what to do. I kind of want the pitcher. I feel like he's going to be helpful for us in the future. Um, we're gonna take the first baseman. We're gonna take the first baseman. We're gonna go Alan Nellis here. His control's not that great, um, but his other per nine stats are pretty decent. So we'll go with him there. Um, I'm kind of starting to regret not taking one of those pitchers the first round. We're gonna go with Ken Hamilton here, the uh, righty. We'll see. I. Uh, I'm, I'm really starting to regret not taking one of those pitchers first round. Uh, we're going to take another. I think it's another Patrick. Patrick Raleigh. I'm pretty sure we took a Patrick last round. Um, so we got two more picks left. Let's see how it goes. We're going to take Larry Wooten here. Uh, one more pick. The rest of the picks just don't really look good. So that's why I kind of picked kind of a lower rated one. Um, like his per nines just don't look good at all. Um, so let's see. Who is available still we'll take Ed Ochoa um, just based on I don't really see anybody else that really interests me um, let's let's go see what happens um, based on our picks so this is one of the closers we were looking at and I'm really disappointed we didn't take them Craig Chavis looks amazing 74 overall 97 potential um, it really was it came down to you guys don't like me taking closers and you guys don't like me taking pitchers first round so that's that's what why I was trying to switch it up. I'm gonna go find the other guy and see what he was. Brett Reyna, 99 potential, 75 overall. His per nines are pretty low, um, but 99 potential. He's already a 75. Again, 
I'm kind of regretting we didn't take a picture. Um, let's go see how we did in this rebuild. Um, this draft, I should say. 63 overall for a first baseman with B potential. Isn't horrible. He's got 87 potential. It's not bad. His power stats are pretty bad. But overall, you know what? I'm not too disappointed in that. We, we did go with Nellis in the next pick. And to be honest, that's still not a bad pick. You know, 71 overall. 70 or no, 94 potential. So that kind of makes up a little bit. We do have an 87 overall starting pitcher as well. 66 um, overall, 87 potential. Not too bad there um, either. Next up, we have a starting pitcher, 69 overall, 92 potential. So that's that's pretty decent. Um, I can't complain about that. So to be honest, these picks so far so good. Larry Wooten isn't even that bad. 71 overall with 77 potential. You know, to be honest, I'm very happy with the way our draft went. Our last pick is a 64 overall with 61 potential, but you know, 87 potential, 94 potential, 87 potential, and 92 potential. First four picks, that's that's solid. I can, you know, it, it makes up for the fact that we didn't get those uh, two picks that I talked about. Um, but overall, pretty good. At the deadline day, you guys can see we're third in the central, 44 and 62. We're 30 games behind the Indians. Um, wild card, we're 15 out. I didn't expect us to be a wild card team or even a postseason team season one we'll click we'll quickly take a look at how some of these players are performing fulmer has a sub three era which is awesome to see boyd isn't doing too bad either but the rest the rest are questionable vince velasquez with the five era really disappointing to see you know we traded for him obviously he is going up in rating so maybe the following seasons will improve but um i was kind of hoping for a little bit better performance out of him um, Jimenez is doing quite well in that setup role and Leclerc yikes seven ERA I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that definitely kind of worrying um, Norris with the 4-4 ERA is kind of question like a little little um, disappointing to see as well I know morale by the the fact that we are you know underperforming as a team is gonna come into question at times but uh, like is gonna hurt some of the stats but overall I'm happy with some of the growth that i've seen with the team you know like grayer's going up um is it no grainer is going up or grainier no grainer um stewart's gone up a little bit goodrum's gone up some as well um castellanos herrera segura um the bench is looking okay players that i'm not really looking for for the future it's looking like harrison's gone down a little bit but like i said he's a one-year player most likely so with what i see you know it's steps going up you know pitching still a few question marks but the lineup the lineup i'm pretty happy with um obviously i want to strengthen it in some areas mostly left and probably second base but i don't know if we're going to be able to acquire anybody just yet so i might just hold off on moves this um this trade deadline and really make moves season two and season three to finish the season we finished 69 and 93 20 games out in the wild card as well as 38 in the central we didn't have anything involved in league leaders or awards so let's just take a look at the team see how things finished michael fulmer pitched very well you know a sub three era wins and losses i'm not worried about but sub three era um whip 1.2 not not bad not bad so i want to see growth from him which we did uh, we saw growth from velasquez his era is kind of high so that's something I'm going to keep my eye on. Um, the whip's a little a little high, 1-4. Um, but it's 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 okay, I guess. You know, I mean, I want to see closer to 1. That's what I'm looking for. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Shoemaker, one-year player. Not worried about it. Boyd, probably not coming back. Ross, definitely not coming back. So these three... I'm not going to worry about Alcantara is a B potential player. He's up to a 71 three, six ERA is not bad for a long reliever. Um, if he continues to get better, he definitely could feature long term in our bullpen. Daniel Norris is down to a 68, mostly due to the fact that, you know, his per nines aren't that great. You know, his ERA is a little high, so we'll have to see how that goes. Blaine Hardy eh, Matt Moore eh. you know, I mean, like three, 10, 3.1 ERA is not bad. You know, Shane Green. 
you know 3.1 era is not bad he might be a player i bring back blaine hardy deep potential probably not going to bring him back matt moore deep potential probably not bringing him back um lewis coleman yikes probably probably not going to feature next season joe jimenez 370 era it went up a little bit second half of the season but he's improving and jose leclerc it looks like he brought his era down um but we're gonna have to keep an eye on why he's going down in overall looking at the lineup segura went down <sighs> that's not good that's not good um Adobo Herrera is going up, which is good to see. You know, he almost hit 300 on the year. He had a great year. Justin Smoke hit 40 bombs this season. Okay. Um, Castellanos almost hit 30. He almost had 100 RBIs as well. So he's a player I definitely want to bring back for that right field spot. Nico Goodrum, 240. I would like to see a little bit higher. You know, same with Christian Stewart um, and Heimer Candelario. You know, I definitely want to see them towards like the 270s. But we'll have to see. Grayson Grainer. I, I need those hitting stats to go up as well. Like these four, you know, I, I want to see them feature. But if they aren't going to be hitting 260, 270, I don't know if I can keep them in the lineup. And then Josh Harrison was a one-year player. Let's look at some of these prospects that we have very, very quickly. Um, Casey Mize, probably by season three, will definitely be a starter in the team. Franklin Perez could be the same situation. Matt Manning. So we do have prospects down there. Um, bullpen, no one really of you know like a thought jake rogers could be a you know our backup catcher for the future maybe even take over for grainer if he doesn't do well um castro lugo they're kind of battling it out for that you know backup infield spot no one in third base shortstop no one either which is kind of you know disappointing because if segura is going to continue to decrease we may need a new shortstop um we got we got some center field prospects which definitely could feature and then right field not too much so overall season was about what i expected wasn't expecting too much this first season so let's get into season two let's make some moves looking at the playoff picture i could see let's go with the indians always seem to do really well so let's just go with the indian season one um the dodgers defeated the yankees um so yeah there's season one in the bag let's get into season two all right, the only exclusive negotiation I was interested in was Castellanos. So hopefully we're able to bring him back. Alrighty, so the only ones offered arbitration were Fulmer, Green, and then Norris. The rest of the guys I'm not interested in as well. Um, contracts wise, we're going to try to give everybody here a contract. So hopefully that goes well. Alrighty, for season two, we made a, a couple acquisitions. The big one being Avisail Garcia. Um, we signed him to a two-year deal. See how he does. Um, we're going to keep him in right. Um, in left, we're going to have Castellanos. Just because his fielding isn't as good, I figured he kind of fits that spot a little bit better. Another move that we did make is for Shelby Miller. I feel like we needed a, a starting pitcher that would help kind of fill the gap until one of our prospects can fill, you know, kind of step into that role. So this is a two-year deal. It's not too bad. Um, um, the next one, we got a a Rule Five draft player, so he's gonna have a you know a two year deal. Again, another kind of filler until we can get a new starter. His stats aren't amazing, but like I was saying, we needed someone to fill in for the time being. Um, next one, he's normally a free agent after season or at the start of season one. He still was a free agent, so I decided to pick him up. Takahiro Narimoto. Um, a one-year minor league contract again stats aren't that great but i'm really just trying to find starting pitching that can hold off until some of these guys are ready so i made a couple other signings a uh, rule five pickup in sam tui Valala. we needed a lot of help in the bullpen and um he was one of the best arms available another player was i think this is the last signing that really matters at this point tets uh, Tetsudo Yamada, second baseman, um, can also play third for us if we need to. Stats look decent and stuff like that. I did sign a couple prospects that were still available, um, like Yolbert uh, Sanchez. He didn't sign with anybody. Um, Yolke Cespedes didn't sign with anybody. Byron Laura didn't sign with anybody. Um, and then uh, Raul Alcantara, Alcantara, normally of Oakland, hasn't signed with anybody for a couple seasons. So I figured, you know what? We'll pick them up. We did, you know, why not pick up some prospects while we can? Um, I wrote down everybody, and I think that's it um, for pickups to start the season. Oh, Jen Ho Sang was another one. 
uh that was that was it that was it so looking at our prospects that we did draft um we do i think larry wooten was one of them for a bullpen arm we do have alan nellis as well um who else did we have we had another uh patrick rowley was one as well he looks pretty decent already um and then we had a fielder didn't we i'm pretty sure we did and i can't find him now i think that may be of it that might have been it that might have been it so um oh chris jimenez was the first baseman that's who it was so the team needs some help i think the lineup for now is okay you know i feel like it's not too bad um it's the bullpen that I, that's my biggest concern right now we can't we could use another arm so let's find a new bullpen arm and then we'll get season two underway Alrighty, so that recent acquisition in Raul Alcantara, Alcantara actually pays off well because we're going to get a bullpen arm who I normally try to avoid picking up the same like kind of players. Um, we could go for Jose Alvarado as well, which is, you know, an option because I was thinking of doing like a, a Funkhauser Alcantara combo, like pairing. It kind of sounds weird when I say combo. Um, I was kind of thinking of something like this get a good bullpen arm alvarado could be one um i think i've gotten castillo quite a bit so let's try alvarado i don't think we've gotten him i think we've gotten him one other time but that's a good pickup right away you know um like i said the bullpen was definitely an area of question now i think that's fine you know like him don't get me wrong Jimenez did very well in the setup role. Leclerc is a is an area for concern. I'm gonna give him one more season. If it doesn't work out, we'll move Alvarado to the, the closer. Then we'll pick up uh, another bullpen arm. But for right now, I think that's it. You know, I again a season where I kind of want to see how things progress. We still have Segura who I don't know if he doesn't do well now. Um, we'll trade him. But you know, we have Goodrum who developed quite well last season. You know, Heimer Candelario played pretty well last season. Um, so uh, it's it's a season where I want to see some growth and I want to see how things go. So we'll see how things go. I just said that. And I'll see you guys at the deadline. Already at the deadline for season two. This is where we're standing. 16 and a half behind in the central and the wild card. The exact same spot. Um, looking at the draft picks for the CPU. Enrique Ramirez, 96 potential pretty solid um looks pretty good already um andrew landis is a 46 overall with 85 potential and then we got a 70 potential player here in guillermo garcia um outside of that the picks were pretty eh um quickly let's take a look at how the team is doing we have fulmer um he's up to an 88 which is good to see era is a little high but um that's all right vince velasquez his era has gone down a little bit from the previous season but still not amazing um senza tell is looking decent you know 318 era he's up to an 80 overall um, which isn't bad shelby miller 455 era kind of hoping for a little bit better and 485 for narimoto so you know not not horrible not great um Al alcantara is you know very consistent <laughs> again same era daniel norris is a little high um, Tui Valala is probably going to be on my note acquire list since he's just been doing so poorly. I'm not sold on Leclerc. I'm going to trade him. Um, Alvarado's going to step in. We're going to put Jimenez in the setup role because he just does so well there. He's actually doing very well out of the bullpen. Um, so I might try to find a new bullpen arm. Let's take a look at the lineup. Segura looks like he's found his, his swing again. You know, almost 300. Odubel may have capped out i'm hoping not um avisel garcia's hitting 262 which is nice to see um castellanos you did so much better last year let's get that average up heimer candelario's hitting 270 that was like where you know i wanted him to be you know at least 270 goodrum's still not there but uh it's an improvement from last season yamada's not hitting the ball too well which is unfortunate neither is granier which I would have hoped was better, you know, but, and then Christian Stewart or DH240. So, hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's find that bullpen arm first and see what else we can, we can do. 
All right, so one of those free agents we signed, Yolkis, Cespedes, Daz Cameron, one of our center fielders, and then Jose Leclerc is going to be traded to the Dodgers for Caleb Ferguson. We're going to stick him in the bullpen. Um, his per nines look really good. Um, so I think he's definitely going to help out that, that bullpen. So I feel like the lineup does need some help still. Just kind of quickly look at the bullpen. I feel like Yamada's not really doing as well as I would have hoped. And then we do have Goodrum. You know, he's not hitting amazing, but, you know, he's getting a little bit better. Candelario, I'm good. It's like the top half I'm good with. It's this, this little section right here. So maybe Yamada's got a little bit of trade value, and we could find a better second baseman. If that's possible, I'll show you guys. If not, that's just the one trade we'll make to start this season or to finish this season. So we finished 75 and 87. So a six game win increase. Um, not as much as I would have hoped, but um, 18 games behind in the central, 11 in the wild card. I mean, it's small improvements. Looking at the team, Segura's average did drop. So I might look to trade him in the offseason Odubel, you know he's still hitting around that 300 mark which is awesome to see Avisail Garcia 270 okay I mean that's not bad that's definitely not bad at all Castellanos 270 so still very good Candelario cooled off second half of the season so he ended up pretty similar to where he was last year um which is disappointing you know I want to see that that 270 average Goodrum's potential is going down so and his overall is going up we'll have to see Yamada, I'm not sold on. Um, he's a question mark for me. For me. Grainier, Gra Grainer? I think it's Grainer. Uh, we'll go with Grainer. Average, just not good. Christian Stewart's up to a 74, which is good to see. And then looking at the team, maybe Dwell, Dawell, Dwell, Lugo steps in at second base. You know, and we trade Yamada. That might be a move. Even Harold Castro's there. Let's take a look at the starting rotation okay we got former up to an 89 so he's quickly increasing vince velasquez is probably on my trade list um senzatella could stick around shelby miller is probably on my trade list as well narimoto could be as well so it's looking like i'm only set on two um arms alcantara's looking pretty good in this long relief role daniel norris has improved a little bit as well tui valala I don't know. I don't know yet. Shane Green's doing decent, even though he's starting to decrease. Caleb Ferguson, a 2-4-4 ERA. That's awesome. Um, Jimenez is looking good in this setup role. And then Alvarado. How come whenever we trade for a closer, they turn to shit? Like, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Um, but Casey Mize is most likely stepping up next season. He looks really good. Uh, we got Perez, Rowley, Manning, our bullpen, or not our bullpen, our starting pitching looks nice for the future. Um, Nellis might step in next season. His per nines aren't too bad. Um, Chance Numata, where did you come from? He had to have been signed by the CPU. Um, Jake Rogers. Okay. Chris Jimenez, our first round pick from season one is a 67. Who else? Who else? Uh, we got Yolbert down here. Parker, Mad Parker Meadows. Okay. All right. So we got a couple players to look out for. Mostly pitching looks like it's going to be stepping in next season. So let's get to season three. I feel like that's the season we're going to have to make a lot of changes. I'm going to go with... Uh, let's let's take a look. Let's go with... Let's go with the Cardinals. Let's go with the Cardinals. See if they win it this year. Yankees defeat the Reds. Whoa. Okay. All right. All right. Let's get into the offseason. I need a pitching coach. Sweet. Um, Josh Lester retired. No one into the Hall of Fame. All right. Let's get into it. Let's see how it goes. Alrighty. So these five right here got arbitration. The rest, the other two, I'm going to let just go away. Uh, contracts wise, I wasn't sold on Yamada. So he might be a player I trade. Yeah, Narimoto, I wasn't really sold on either. How much does he want? He doesn't want a lot, but he is 30. 
I'm gonna let Narimoto go. Yamada, Yamada doesn't want that much, so I'm okay with signing him up. And then the rest are gonna get contracts for sure. Alrighty, so Vince Velasquez has been very just disappointing. I'm not I'm not sold on him. I don't like I don't think he's gonna make it. You know, I don't like him. So Jen Ho Sang, a 66 overall, 26 year old. We signed him last offseason. And then Guillermo Garcia are being traded to the Yankees for Jordan Montgomery. Um, he had a very solid season last year. Um, and I feel like adding another starter definitely helps us out. Alrighty, another trade we're gonna be making Gene Segura. Um, Parker Meadows and I know you're probably like why would you trade Parker Meadows well we're gonna get Nick Senzel a new like the center fielder for the Reds um, we also have this guy Enrique Ramirez who the CPU drafted last season who's a year younger and not too far away in terms of overall um, and then a shortstop process uh, we're gonna Gene Segura like I said Odubel had shortstop as one of his secondaries so we're gonna move him to shortstop and then we have Sergio Alcantara. So you're probably like, why? That doesn't make any sense. Why would you move Odubel um, when he was doing so well? Well, I didn't like what Gene Segura was doing. Like, he just wasn't performing. He was decreasing in rating. And I feel like adding Odubel to short and then bringing in Senzel, who's 25A potential, only makes the team a little bit better. And looking at the lineup now, we're looking pretty solid. Sorry, so rule five draft came around and jp crawford was available and a potential yeah okay whatever that's nice and all um but we're gonna trade him shelby Mil shelby shelby miller and then one of our low rated players for jameson tyon of the pirates um we need a little bit stronger pitching and i feel like that helps us out now so looking at the lineup um we do still have some 70s you know high 70s low 70s um players i'm not 100 percent sold on just yet um but the team looks a little bit better um i do still have questions around you know yamada you know the second base position um the pitching looks stronger now once um i brought up casey mize we got jameson tyon now we brought donny hard in for a lefty arm which we could always find, you know, more help. But for now, you know, when you look at the team, the st starting rotation looks a lot stronger. The bullpen still, yes, some questions. I'm thinking about adding another bullpen arm there. But the lineup still improving. I feel like we could probably make a trade for maybe a second baseman that would, but that would require probably trading away a prospect. So my big thing right now is trying to find a bullpen arm. So let's see if we can do that. All right, Tui Valala and Dewell Lugo for John Brebia. Um, like I was saying, we're looking for a bullpen arm. We kind of had extra second baseman. So now I feel a lot better with what we have here. Um, starting rotation as well. And then when you look at the lineup, um, I still have some question marks. But overall, you know, I'm, I'm feeling okay with the way we're looking. So let's get into this season and see how season three finishes. Alrighty, so as you guys can see here, 102 and 61. Um, and we won our division. So it's looking like this game right here. We had the we had to play a tiebreaker with the Indians for the division. So let's take a look. Yeah, we had the exact same record on the final day of the season. And we took the division based on that tiebreaker. We have an award. And AL Rookie of the Year goes to Casey Mize. And Heimer Condelario won a um, gold glove. That's what it's called. All right, let's take a look at the team. Michael Fulmer, 3.39 ERA, 18 and 7 on the year. Awesome stuff. Um, Heimerson, Jameson Tyone, 3.28 ERA, 16 and 7, 1.2 whip. So pretty good, pretty good. 1.15 whip for uh, Fulmer. Jordan Montgomery looks like he had a solid season as well. Um, 14 and 9, 200 innings, 3.33 ERA, 1.2 whip. So you know they're doing well. Senzatella. A little bit higher on the ERA. Whip went down though. Um, similar innings, similar runs. So again, he's only getting better. Um, Casey Mize is up to an 81. He went 16 and 10 on the year, four ERA almost. But you know what? He's only gonna get better. So like he's set for the future. Um, we're gonna have a cluster of starting pitching. Uh, Daniel Norris, just not not doing well in the long relief role. I don't understand why. You know he has got some decent stats. Um, Alcantara doing pretty good 
Um, can't complain about that. Brebia, 87 overall, 3 ERA. Like, okay, I'm going to take that. Uh, Donnie Hart for a Rule 5 pickup, a 30-year-old. He did really well this season. Um, Caleb Ferguson is looking like a must pickup for a bullpen arm from the Dodgers. He looks really good. Jimenez does really well in this setup role since we put him there, which is going great. And Alvarado had a bounce back year, which is great to see. Probably his best as his it is his best in his career. So pitching has definitely improved. The issue now would be how do we get some of these starters? It, you know, do we trade away Montgomery? Do we trade away Senzatella? Do we trade away Tyon? You know, because we got or do we just let, you know, Frank uh, Perez, Rowley, Manning, uh, Hamilton, Burroughs. Do we just let them sit in the minors for a couple more seasons? Um, to see how they develop even more um, and then once some of those pitchers like Tyon will be in his 30s um, and stuff like that trade him away once they hit that part but let's let's talk about what we have here now the bench is looking okay nothing too crazy when seal Perez is looking like he could be a decent uh, future shortstop but Oduble 275 on the year um, you know he's he's gone down by 10 every year but still having a solid year um, Senzel went up three overall, which, you know, he hit 300 on the year, which is awesome to see. Castellanos is doing very well. Glad we locked him up in a long-term deal. 314 average, 37 homers, 124 RBIs. Awesome. Avisel Garcia back over 300 on the average, 29 homers, 93 RBIs, his best year in terms of home runs. Awesome to see. He could be another like one or two year deal. We could possibly sign him on. Nico, Nico Goodrum, he looks like a 240 hitter. You know, 26 home runs is not bad, um, but would hope for a little bit better average wise. Same with Candelario. His average just isn't there yet. Yamada went up to an 83. So that's actually looking like a decent pickup. You know, I questioned him hitting 230 the previous season, but 260 is decent, 23 homers. All right, that's better to see. Uh, Grainer, okay. All right, you know, improvements in average. Christian Stewart's still around that mid-70s mark. Um, but, you know, he's obviously going to be a DH when we got two really good out corner outfielders already. Let's take a look at some of these prospects, like I mentioned before. Franklin Perez is a 76. His stats look, like, really good. Very comparable to Mize's um, Rowley. The walks per nine and home runs per nine are pretty low. But overall, those stats are looking nice, too. Same with Manning. Like, we got the future right here locked up you know even ken hamilton looks decent bo burrows um brian reyna was a player i saw in free agency so i decided to give him a deal he looks good starlin castillo another free agent signing he looks good as well um bullpen question marks um aaron allen nellis could be you know a bullpen arm within two seasons he looks good um chris jimenez is getting up to the point where in a season or two he's probably mlb ready and then let's see who else we got um this was the guy the cpu drafted but he's only gonna get worse andrew landis eh uh, we got enrique uh ramirez we got victor reyes um joan diaz uh byron La laura so the team's got some youth around it it definitely has like win now potential we won the division i'm liking the team the team's looking good you know Senzel's young, Castellanos, what, just turned 29, 29 for Avisel Garcia as well. I know Goodrum's about 29, Candelario, 27, Yamada, 28. So, you know, mid to high 20s for most of these players, kind of the same with the pitching rotation. So, still got years to grow. We're coming up against the Yankees or Indians. No, that's a lie. We're taking on the Astros um, for this series. We win the first 2-1 to one awesome awesome stuff we lost the second though um alcantara let us down lose oh no 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 we're down to an elimination game now playing at minute Maid park do we let fulmer go i kind of feel like we have to you know it's elimination game let's see how they go so they have we don't see their lineup yet but they have sean Manea on the mound First and second, we do get a run. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so they have Correa, Reddick, Altuve, Bregman, Aledmas, Diaz, Smoke, Springer, Tucker, and Barnes. So Barnes and Smoke 
are the two changes to their team so let's see how this game goes can we keep the season alive that's the question here so okay all right i'll get a walk oh okay the catcher stewart no grainer with the homer all right all right that was the first hit for them with reddick's double but we got a three run lead oh smoke comes back to hurt us it makes it a one run game so fulmer's still pitching well though you know i'm keeping an eye on his stamina all right ty oh no we do have a one run lead thanks to the home run from uh grainer so that was probably his last inning that was probably his last inning for sure there we go castellanos gives us a two run lead candelario gives us a three run lead and just to be safe we're gonna bring in jimenez he's gonna hold it all right solid first and second can we get a sack fly here by herrera he hits it to a double play but that's all right we're gonna bring in alvarado and he shuts the door awesome stuff there so we got one more game 2-2 two, two in the series. Let's see how it goes. We are at Comerica. We're gonna have we're gonna have Tyon take the mound versus the Strohs here. All right, we get a single. Fielder's choice. First and third. There we go. Bases clearing double. All right, nice. No, Elenmis Diaz is just being a killer for us. All right. Alrighty, alrighty, alright. Can we get the lead back? I don't like this situation here. No outs. They do get one. Two runs come home. We're in a bit of a situation now. There we go, Yamada. Gets us back one. A single. First and second with one out. And a three-run bomb. Odubo Herrera puts us up by two. And Tyone gets us out of the inning. That's going to be his last. His stamina is pretty low already. So let's 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 get into a change here. Um we'll bring in Alcantara. There we go. Double play. Perfect. Alright, first and second, one out. We do get another run. A sack fly. So we're up by four. Bases loaded with two outs. Candelario brings in one. Yamada brings in one. And the floodgates have opened. Seven run lead. Castellanos makes it a nine run game alcantara we'll, we'll let him go he has the stamina to do it he's pitching well and let's see if he can close out the game save the bullpen a little bit and we move on to take on the red Sox. so i don't think fulmer has the stamina just yet so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go i'm gonna go like this that way you know the the rotations mixed up a little bit and that way we have a couple days rest. So first game we win three to one. We lost the second. The bullpen let us down there. We win the third. It is two to two. All right. Okay. So we're one game away from advancing and in the elimination game. Whoo. All right. Let's see how it goes. Game seven. We're gonna have Fulmer take the mound. Um. feel like okay we'll just leave it there we'll take we'll see what the reds have or not the reds the red socks against sale let's see how we do all right so they have ben attendee bogart's bets jd martinez rogan Adore. okay devers i don't know who that stewart is um but then delmonico and swihart so they brought in Odor. okay and they've scored already awesome come on fulmer we got to do better we got to do better first and second no outs Okay, we get one back. Yamada and then Herrera with the double brings us up two runs. Awesome. Awesome. DJ Stewart. That's who it is in center. Formerly of the Orioles. Okay. Okay, a double. Can we get a two run? Ah, two out run there. We couldn't. Still got that two run lead though. Double play. Yikes. All right, Fulmer. Come on. Just keep, keep dealing. You're doing well. You're doing well. Senzel gets on. No runs there two outs perfect 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 we're, we're looking good we're looking good fulmer gets us out of the six perfect that's what we needed six innings and now we're probably gonna it's probably his last inning for sure yeah his stamina is pretty low um a lefty a switch hitter and another lefty so let's bring in ferguson 
gets us out of it. Awesome. Senzel, Castellanos, anybody, a double. And Candelario couldn't do anything there. So we got a string of righties coming up. Eighth inning, Jimenez is coming in. Double play. Perfect. There we go. No damage done. All right. Bottom nine. Closing time. We're taking on the Phillies in the World Series. All right. Got a couple days. So what I'm going to do, we're going to bring, so Tyon's going. We're going to go Fulmer there. Montgomery sends a telemise. All right. It is World Series time. Wins the first. Loses the second and the third and the fourth. It's looking like we're going to have to do a miracle here to win a World Series with Detroit. Tyon's going to come on. We're going to look a little tired. Definitely looking a little tired. But looking at Philly's lineup. They have Andrews, Eaton, Harper, Hoskins, Nick Williams, Real Muto, Franco, um, Mustakis, and McCutcheon. So it's looking like Andrews, Eaton, and Mustakis are some new additions. Not the best of starts for Tyone. We're down four, five runs, six runs in the first. What happened there? What? I don't get that. Like, he just got absolutely smacked. Three innings is it for Tyone. All right, we get one back from Senzel's homer. But we're going to have to rely on the oh, the bullpen's dead. All right. Um, Donnie Hart's going to have to come in, help us out, hopefully. We need to score some runs quick. Double play. No. That we Six runs again. We're just, we're in a bad spot. We are in a very bad spot. So unless we get some runs quick, we may end up losing here in the World Series. It's not looking promising. We're going to bring in Jimenez. I mean, I don't want to, but we're kind of limited on our options. So Stewart gets a double, which is awesome. Oduble walks. Senzel bases loaded now. The run doesn't score. Bases clearing double. Okay, three run game now. All right. Okay, it's a little little interesting now. What are you? No. Come on. His stamina was at three, like 75%. He wasn't tired. Okay, first and third. Sack fly brings in one. Awesome. All right. Walks first. Okay, okay. Come on. No. So, okay. First off, sub 500 team two straight years, right? So, under 500, 66 wins and then oh, so so the first season, yeah, both seasons. Oh no, first season we were under 500, second season we were just above 500. So, actually no, both both seasons we were under 500. Yeah, both seasons we were under 500. So to think about that, you know, we play off MVP. Yeah, cool, whatever. We lost the World Series. But to think about two team, two seasons back to back under 500 this year, we go to the World Series. You know, that's a great, great achievement. This team made leaps and bounds. Um, you know, obviously in the World Series, some things fell apart. But I mean, looking at the lineup. Most people hit very well. Abisal Garcia almost hit 400. Like, that's great to see. Pitching seems like Tyone had a rough outing. Fulmer didn't, did pretty well. Montgomery had a rough playoff. So, overall, though, you know, maybe replace Donnie Hart with a different pitcher for the future. Um, maybe find a new long reliever. And then once, once these young prospect pitchers start getting into the mix, this team is looking good. Um, obviously, you can start to get more prospects with the draft. But overall, I feel like this team did very, very well. I, was, I wasn't I was expecting us to go this far in Season 3, to be honest. I was really 
unsure if we would even hit the playoffs so to go into the world series that's awesome so i hope you guys enjoyed this detroit tigers rebuild if you did make sure you hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content and as always in the comment section let me know which team is coming up next what team should we do next and again description twitch channel um we've been doing diamond dynasty and stuff like that um as well as we did a fantasy draft uh franchise um and it allows you guys to kind of you know talk with me get to hang out a little bit so go and give that a follow i'll probably be streaming sometime today as this video goes live um i'll probably stream tonight so look out for that so i you know what that's about it guys i hope you enjoyed the video i'll catch you in the next one peace